Hi guys, I'm pretty pumped. I'm going to Copenhagen now to pick up my brand new electric unicycle. In Copenhagen, there's waiting a brand new unit for me of the long-awaited Kingston KS18L. This unicycle, I pre-ordered that already in January, so I've been waiting for this for a really long time. Kingston KS18L, that's a powerful wheel. It has a 2000 watt engine that is significantly more powerful than previous models released by Kingston. When I arrive in Copenhagen, I will unbox the wheel, give you my first impressions and take it for a test ride. Let's get going. We are here and we are ready to take a closer look at the Kingston KS18L. I'm ready! <laughs> charger. Second charger. Manual. Damn, that's heavy! Put it down, like I think that's easier. Ooh. Ah, maybe it's not that heavy. No, hello, Kingston! <laughs> Woohoo! Together here with me, uh, somewhere over there, is Christian from uh, Mr. Unbox. He has also gotten a KS18L today. If you not already know Christian from uh, Mr. Unbox, uh, you should uh, watch some of his stuff on uh, the Mr. Unbox channel. It's pretty cool and I will make sure to leave a link in the description below. All right, let's just run over the specs uh, fast of this KS18L. It has a lift switch. It's an uh, open rim design. The handle can be put in two positions. It's a 2000 watt motor. It comes with a quite huge battery pack that will give you around 50 to 70 kilometers depending on your weight, temperature and uh, your riding style. It has built in speakers, front and back light. It has two charging ports. It can actually be charged with two chargers, making the charging time twice as fast. On the opposite side of the charging ports, there are two USB ports that you can use for charging your accessories. The pedals are significantly higher than what we're used to with the KS16 and that can lead to some really tight turns. I'm looking forward to explore that option. There's grip tape on the pedals and that's a good thing because that will uh, make sure that you stay on the pedals even if it's a bit wet. The top speed is around 50 km an hour and that is lethal in some cases. I could not recommend riding at that speed. But it's nice to have this extra power in this wheel supported by the 2000 watt motor. It'll be fun to explore how this wheel rides. Hey, I wanna get between us Hungry, they went for us to take us down I know what it takes to free us No one but you and me Not them, they're gonna see When everything's said and done I'm gonna stay on the ground There ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna Ain't nothing gonna bring us down when you're getting a new wheel like this, uh, it's often a good idea to check the tire pressure. And it seems uh, we need this bad boy to be able to uh, add some air to the tire because it's a little bit to the low side. 42 PSI, not 50. That's too much. You're only allowed to do around 40. And uh, 42 to give a little spare because it will leak a little bit when I take it off. So, let's put on this. If you find this uh, pump interesting, then uh, I can uh, leave a link for you in uh, the description below. This is a pretty nice way. Actually, you can see now. 
it tells you that it's 29.5 so now it's first ride I really like it does not say hello Kingston. So let's see. You can do some pretty sharp turns. <laughs> so far it feels fantastic. When you get the wheel, it's actually uh, locked to 20 kilometers an hour. And for a very experienced guys like us that has been riding electric unicycles in many years, this is kind of annoying that you have to ride 500 kilometers before you're able to unlock uh, the higher top speed of 50 kilometers an hour. Luckily, there are some third-party tools that can be used to unlock uh, the, the speed of this wheel. Not that I'm going to ride 50 kilometers an hour on this uh, one, that's for sure, but uh, 20, that's too little. Let's get it unlocked so we can get it out and test it for real. So settings, device, or oh, here max speed. So we don't have Okay. So here do have the alarms. Eh? Yeah. So put we disable them first. So fema travel and amatron. Oh. It looks really good. What is it called, that app? Darkness Bot. Darkness Bot. Darkness Bot. Right now we are preparing, going out, to ride the wheels for the first time in the public. Oh my.
All right, finally back after a long and uh, exciting trip with the KS18L. Uh, it was a good trip. Uh, we did this uh, mistake. Maybe we should have charged the wheel a little bit before we went out because I actually ran out of a battery uh, almost four kilometers back. So that was not good. But uh, we made a pit stop to McDonald's and uh, got something to eat while we were charging. And uh, actually the wheel was starting to beep intensively with the uh, around the three dots on the, the battery indicator and uh, when it went down to two tilted really badly and stopped i don't know why they made it like that but uh, it seems uh, when you have two uh, dots left on uh, the battery meter you should be able to uh, at least drive slowly uh, it refused to drive there so i don't know if there's an, an update that needs to be done to fix that problem. I even switched so it was my son riding and he's only maybe half the weight or less than half the weight of me, but that didn't help. So we had to do a pit stop and, uh, and do some charging. Just shortly to, uh, to conclude on uh, what is my first impression of uh, this wheel is that it's, it's a fantastic performer. It rides really, really smooth. I'm really surprised uh, how well it rides compared to my previous uh, M Super version 3. And uh, there's definitely a major leap forward with this uh, new uh, engine 2000 watt. We did a little bit of hill climbing, uh, not that much because of the lack of a battery. I never felt at any point that there was lack of power. I could really feel that uh, these uh, additional uh, uh, <laughs> Guys, ah, what are you doing? You're messing with my video. <laughs> I could, <laughs> but I could definitely feel the additional power that came in handy uh, in areas where I normally uh, struggle a little bit when I have to go uphill. Range test. I would have to do that uh, one of the following days uh, to see how far I can get with a full charged wheel. How does it compare against uh, the other wheels? It's definitely uh, more powerful, there's no doubt about that. Alright, I think I'll wrap it up for now and uh, pack up and go back home and then I will do a follow up video once I know a little bit or have a little bit more experience with the wheel. Take care and see you on the next one. Bye bye. Adios. Thank you. Please. Please.